The housing ecosystem is created in partnership with the communities we serve to understand the multiple facets of creating housing and homeownership opportunities. The ecosystem shows the cyclical nature of housing within the native landscape, while offering a deeper understanding of each core component and the dynamic intersection of the key focus areas imperative to a healthy tribal housing ecosystem. I love where I live, I love where I grew up, but we need certain services, whether it's doctors, teachers, you know, things like that. And how, how do we get those people to come? And then also amongst our own people, our own tribal members, we just have a lack of housing. There's many barriers to achieving home ownership. How do we increase housing stock and support all of those systems around making home, home ownership more achievable uh, by my, having more options? We're working on addressing some of the bigger policy pieces, figure out ways to get more capital and investment. Ultimately, we're hoping that there's more contractors to build individual homes for families. Building codes are important for Native American people, and especially in Indian country, because of the huge struggles you have to overcome to even get to construction. Once that's in effect, and you have those certified inspectors who have been trained from your own community, taking that income from that salary, and now it's reinvested into its community. Now you're proactively advocating for your sovereignty through building codes. You know, tribes have been fighting, you know, systems change for years. When it comes to changing systems with financial institutions, that's a whole different realm. You know, now you're talking about money, you're talking interest rate, you're talking lending capital, operating capital. I mean, in order to be able to meet the needs of our borrowers, we have to be around for a while. So we have to put all of those policies and build that infrastructure so that we are going to be around for the next 30 years, which is the length of a lot of our home loans now. So if our folks, have stable housing, right, and they're homeowners, and they're able to not have to focus on that part of their lives right, and stress about it all the time, the amount of effort and energy that they can put into being, you know, entrepreneurs, people that are spiritual leaders, cultural leaders, is amplified, you know, and they can just take that energy and put it into the places where it needs to be, whereas those places have been, you know, in a drought for many, many years. In order to have a healthy ecosystem, you have to provide all of the services that are required. And if you aren't focused on all of them, it's going to be creating dysfunction in other areas. The more resources that we have, the more areas of the spectrum that we can address that will create more harmony on our reservations.